This is Teacher PD. I'm John Van Dusen, and in this video we're going to talk about using the Rocket Book for teachers. The Rocket Book, first and foremost, is simply just a notebook. It has a nice hard plastic cover on the front and the back, and it has 18 plastic coated pages on the inside that you use just like a normal notebook. It folds down nice. Use a friction style pen and you write just like normal. Now, that's where the normality of the rocket book ends. One of the neat things about the rocket book is even though there's only 18 pages, they are reusable so it could literally last you forever. With just a little bit of water and a rag, I can erase this notebook and once the pages dry, use it again. Now I use my rocket book just like you would use a normal notebook. I make to-do lists, I use it at staff meetings and conferences. One thing that's really handy with the rocket book is I'm able to have multiple topics in one notebook. I'm not forced to carry around several different notebooks just to keep track of all the different things that I do throughout the day. I also use it during IEPs. As a teacher, we know that going into an IEP, you want to have some data with you and you may want to take some notes. So instead of bringing your computer, which you may be pulling out of class while you have a sub, you can simply bring your rocket book and save the notes later. Up to this point, you're probably thinking, what's the big deal? It seems just like a regular notebook to me. It's pretty cool that you can erase it, but let me show you what else it can do. I'm going to show you on the inside cover of my rocket book. You'll see there's a bunch of different symbols. There's a diamond, an apple, a school bell, and all of these are linked to a different place online. You can choose to have it linked to a Google Drive, an iCloud, Dropbox, or any email. To show you how the linkage works, I'm going to open up to a page that I want to go to my Google Drive. You can see that I've filled in the little circle on the bottom with the rocket, and you can see I could choose diamond, apple, bell, all those different ones. I could choose any one I want. But I chose the home Google Drive. Now when I take out my smartphone and I open up the Rocketbook app, I'm going to take a picture and simply hold it over and it will scan it in for me. Now I can see that's exactly what I want as a preview, and I'm going to click next and have it upload to my home drive and now it's ready for the next one. Now we can see that scan I am simply in my Google Drive I'm going to open up Rocketbook Home and I can open it and now it's simply a PDF in my computer. Now that it's a PDF I can open it with a PDF editing software I can email it, I can save it uh, I can basically do anything I can do with a regular PDF. By having it save as a PDF, it makes it super simple for you to just print off your to-do list. Or in this case, I have some football defenses that I printed off. Now you may be saying to yourself on this one, it looks like you used a highlighter. That's because I did. Watch this next part. If you go to the Rocketbook homepage, you'll see that they have several different templates that you can download and put on regular paper. You can do lines like this, you can do the dots, such as in my rocket book. They have ones for music, they have contracts, or you can make your own. You can use a regular pen. You can print it off for students. And one of the neat things about it is if you pass it out to students as a worksheet that you have already built, you can already fill in where you want it to go. So I'm going to take my phone out again. I'm going to hit rocket book. Automatically goes to that. I've already filled out I want it to go to home. I preview it. And I'm sending it to my home folder on Google Drive. Now if I take a look at my Google Drive, you'll see that it's popped up here and now I have it saved as a PDF. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on using a rocket book in the classroom. If you learned something, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or other ways to use rocket book, please leave it in the comments below. Till next time, I'm John Van Dusen, and this has been Teacher PD.